Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So last week I didn't get to post a YouTube video. The weekend got away with me and as some of you may know, I work full time. So weekends are my only time to film and edit and upload. So anyway, I'm really, really excited to be filming today. Um, I missed it. I know I only took last week off, but I found that whenever I post of a weekend, generally the week following it, I talk to you guys so much and I get to really talk to you guys about the videos or some of you will message me on Instagram about stuff. So yeah, I found it a little bit quiet this week, but I did use that time to update my website. So I realized that I haven't been blogging as much and I still love to blog. My website was just getting a little bit stale and I feel like I needed to just spruce it up a little. And it's so nice to have like a one, one place where I can just kind of have everything because it helps me compartmentalize what I'm doing as well and what I've spoken about. Um, so yeah, I will link my website below. Make sure you guys check it out. But I'm just going to any products I ever mention, I'll link on there in the shop, um, any blog posts, any collaborations that I do and any reviews that I have on products that I've tried. I would, and any new uploads on YouTube that I have, I would just keep it all there. So that way it's just, if ever you need to ask me a question or you need to look at it for anything, you can just go straight there. So anyway, it's been a really productive week and I guess I just wanted to use this video as a time to catch up. I really do feel like my last few videos have been about handbag reviews and stuff, but because I'm getting to know you guys a little more and I'm starting a little bit of a community on here, I feel like I need to give you guys a bit of an update, a bit of a life update, new things that I've purchased, not in terms of fashion, not just fashion, but a bit of everything. So that's what I wanted to use this video for. It's just an open forum of getting to know each other. Basically, a little bit of a life update. Um, we're renovating the house at the moment. We've been renovating for like the past two years and the reason why we've been renovating for so long is because my partner Ryan is the builder so it's just as and when he finds the time to do things around the house. And it's been really nice because we've just taken our time with it but the kitchen should arrive in about two weeks. So I should have some more home content for you guys. Um, I don't know if you're into that kind of thing, but if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Um, I'll still always be doing my capsule wardrobe and fashion style kind of content. But yeah, exciting things are coming. So the kitchen and the laundry are happening soon. And then that is it for the inside of the house. A lot has changed, but yeah, we really are coming to the end of it. And I know it might be early to say, but I am so excited for Christmas content because this year around Christmas, I'm going to have a brand new kitchen and the house is going to be completed. So I feel like I'm going to get really into the Christmas content. So make sure you guys stick around and subscribe because that is, that's going to be happening here. Anyway, that's a little bit of a life update. Um, as for new things that I've purchased, these are, I've just realized I've been picking up a few things lately, just ad hoc. It's not like I go out and I'm looking for it. I've just picked up things and I've really been enjoying them. So I really wanted to share them with you. The first item I wanted to show you guys, um, just because it's sitting right here, is this little glass um, tumbler. And it's got a little bamboo lid. I actually got this one off eBay. I'll link it below. Um, but I bought my friend one of these a bit a way better quality one um, for her birthday and after I bought it for her I thought oh, man I should really buy myself one it would be so handy for work um, especially when you're sitting at your desk and you don't always want to sip coffee you kind of want to sip either water or what I've been doing is I've been having the I'll insert a photo of what they look like but the Twinings cold tea so it's just a little tea bag it tastes like passion fruit this one and it is so nice and so refreshing. And for those of you who are watching from the US or the UK and it's warm right now, this would be perfect. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice. It's got the little lid and I'm loving it. I've been using it every single day. I use it for iced coffees. I use it for the cold teas um, and you can use it for smoothies. It comes with a little straw cleaner. And the best part is it's glass. So I find glass doesn't hold smell and it's really easy to clean. So absolutely loving this right now 
So another eBay purchase, I love eBay, everything's hooked up with my payment details and everything so I just add to cart and pay. Obviously I don't like to buy a lot of plastic or just crap in general that's going to end up in my house and I won't use it. But for the odd little things I do like to use eBay um, just for handy bits and pieces and something that I really wanted was an Apple watch band. I've got a black one and I've got this one. I get Every single time I wear this in a YouTube video, this watch band, I get asked about it. I'll try and link it below. Um, I got it off eBay. I think it was like $12. So yeah, I wasn't even going to show this, but because of the amount of comments I get about this one, I thought, oh, maybe people like to hear about watch bands. So anyway, that one was from eBay, about $2. Now the next purchase, um, as I said, I haven't, I didn't go out looking for any of this stuff. I kind of just saw it and liked it and got it. Um, I went into TK Maxx and I bought this beautiful brown corduroy hat and it just has a billabong on the front there. We went up the beach last weekend, as I said before, and I was wearing this hat. It's so cute. And this with my little this like it's all just like a little bit of a set at the moment so yeah absolutely love that it's just really cute um really comfortable and it's kind of it's not too crazy i've got a few beach hats that are really wide brim but this one i thought was just quite cute um and yeah it looks it looks really nice so yes that was from tk maxx and i think it was 15 dollars. so absolutely love that little hat and then to go with that little theme um I was just at the shops and these were at Cotton On for I think $12 because I ended up getting the second pair half price and my sister and I both got the same pair. They're kind of like a light green color and all of my sunglasses um, are either black or brown or nice quality and I find when I go to the beach I don't want to be taking um, my Prada or Saint Laurent sunglasses down to the beach because the sand can scratch them and stuff. So I thought these would be really good when we're going up the beach or if I just take Remy for a walk. Um, and they're really cute. And they're just something that I don't have in my wardrobe, a little bit of color. So they are from Cotton On, really, really beautiful. Um, and then from Kmart, I got a couple of things from Kmart just because I there's a Kmart right near my work and I had to pop in there to grab a container um, just for food. But I ended up coming across this. So the first thing I came across was this beanie and it was on a sale rack for $5. And I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, cobalt blue. That's pretty cool. When we go camping and stuff, I can wear it. Because the only beanies I have at the moment are from like when I lived in Canada and stuff. And they're, they're really thick and they've got big pom-poms and stuff. But I don't really have any just kind of simple ones. Um, and it was $5, so I picked it up. I thought it was cute. Um, my sister came over and said, that is so ugly. But, um, I don't know, am I tripping or is that cute? I thought it was. $5, I mean, you can't really go wrong. And again, I'm trying to get a little bit more color in my life. I have mentioned this before, that like all of my clothes are so minimalist, which I love, but I want to be able to spruce them up a little bit. And when I'm wearing all black or, you know, just those neutral colors. I thought a blue beanie would look pretty cool. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like this beanie. I love it and for $5, I thought it was cute. And the other thing I saw was this bag. It is just like a canvas sort of linen-y kind of bag. It's got two buttons, four buttons on the inside. There and there, there and there to button it up. And then inside it actually does have some pockets and it's got a zip there for um, keys and wallets and stuff. So I thought that that would be so handy when I'm going to do some groceries. I can just put all of my belongings in here and then I can just throw it over my shoulder and do the groceries, which I did recently and it fits so much in there. This was only $15, but I just thought it was nice. It's a beautiful color. I love the brown and I've got a little bit of a theme going here. Like if I go to the beach and I have that, I have my cold tea, I have my hat, and then I have my sunglasses. A little bit of a set there. So they are the latest accessories that I've purchased and I love all of them. And these are all the things that were kind of just missing for me. I've been so focused on my capsule wardrobe and handbags that often when I'm just doing daily life, I was missing these little things like hats and, you know, a cup and a nice bag. So my life planner that I bought for this year, for 2022, it's like an agenda. 
I found, um, so it didn't have dates in it, which I thought would be a good thing, but it is really, really hard to forward plan because you need to put every single date in and I just haven't had the time to sit there and do all of that. Um, so I was just finding I wasn't using my agenda anymore and my mind was just filling up with all of these dates that I had to remember and everything and it was just making me stressed. And for me, if I can get it out of my head onto paper in a, in a diary, I'm good to go and I can fit so much more in. So anyway, I was in Kmart and I came across this one here. It is the 2022-2023 agenda um, and look how beautiful it is. It was only $9. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. A nice big spiral here. Um, and obviously, it starts with the financial year. So, it started um, in June and then it goes until... It actually goes for the whole of next year. So, this is a year and a half worth of pages in here. And it's really simple. It's just a week to page. You've got a spot for notes and then you've also got a spot for like your to-do list and that's all I need. So that is that diary. That's from Kmart, $9. Such a bargain. And then on the whole book theme, so I'm in a book club. I've been so lucky and I'm so grateful that a few girls that I know started a little book club and they kind of just invited people as they went of who they know that like to read. And a few of them knew that I like to read. So they invited me onto this book club and it's been going for probably maybe like five or six months now and it is so good. We just read a new book every like month to two months and we all meet up and have a beautiful um, get together and talk about the book. There's actually an Instagram. If you guys like reading and you want to keep up to date with what we're reading, um, you can follow our little book club. I mean, I don't run the Instagram, one of the other girls do, but we're trying to just, yeah, keep up updates on there. I went to the bookstore and as I was picking up the book club book I also came across this one which was also highly recommended and it is called Godisham Park and I fell in love with the cover. If you know me you know I love that whole era of like Bridgerton is just my life. I absolutely love it. I love movies based on it, books based on it, anything. If you are someone who loves Bridgerton vibes, obviously it's not as raunchy back in those days, um, you know, so much as a look from a guy was just out of this world and so scandalous. If you're, yeah, like I said, if you're looking for something a little more romantic and a little bit more raunchy, these books aren't it. And sometimes it can, like, piss you off. You're like, just kiss the guy, like, bloody hell. But it is nice that there's a huge build up and then they kiss and then that's the end of it. But if you're someone who enjoys that era or if you like Bridgerton, I think you would love this book and you would also love Edenbrook. So I'll link both of those below. Now onto some new pieces of clothing. These aren't clothing, these are a pair of shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen these. I bought the New Balance 530s in the navy and white and the reason why I got these is I was on the hunt for a new runner. I needed ones that I wouldn't be wearing outside and ones for the gym. Because I run, my shoes are getting so dirty. Anyway, I needed a gym pair of shoes and I thought these ones would be really good. I love the look of them. I love how people style them. So I just had to get them for myself and they were out of stock for so long. Um, and then one day I just checked on ASOS and they had just restocked so I quickly bought them and I am a size, I'm generally in shoes like a size Aussie 8 um, which is like a 39 but these I got in a 38 and a half and they're perfect. If ever there's half sizes I'm always a 38 and a half and then if they don't have half sizes that's when I go 39. They're always a little bit big but I can get away with it. So anyway, absolutely love these shoes. Um, Love how they're styled. I thought if I keep them clean, I can wear them with jeans and an outfit or I can wear them to gym with leggings and, you know, a t-shirt. So absolutely love these. So stoked to get my hands on them. They're not for everyone. They're a total dad shoe, but I love them. I think they're so cool. So anyway, they're my new shoes. Before I forget, I also bought a new beautiful wrap dress from TK Maxx. I'm going to insert a photo now because it's in the wash. I wore it like... A couple of times this week just trying to get away with wearing it as much as I can. I wore it um, on its own to work with boots and then I've also worn it with a black sort of knit jumper over top 
and that looked really cute as well but I got it from TK Maxx for $30 and they had so many in all different sizes um, so glad I picked that one up so anyway I bought that dress absolutely love it and then um, as you it's a bit of a theme here I haven't been buying as much off Depop and that is because a lot of these items I had been looking for on Depop and just for a while you just can't find what you're looking for and as much as I try and try and try, I really struggle with that. So this was a time for me to go out and buy the things that I was unable to find on Depop. And another thing that I was unable to find was some nice long pants. Um, as I said, because it's winter here, you can't, I can't wear jeans every single day. It's just, they're not the comfiest. I do love wearing jeans, but to work and stuff, I want to be able to wear some comfy pants. So I went into Dish. Um, you may, I've noticed that Dish is like in the UK and stuff now, or they order from Australia, I'm not sure, but if you're from Australia, you know that Dish used to be a bit of a fast fashion, kind of had everything, it was very much just a standard store like every other store, but they've had a major rebrand and all of their clothes are now high quality. I hope that they're high quality, um, and they haven't just put up the price and gone neutral colours, but their store is so beautiful um, all of their clothing is very neutral there's not a lot of bright color and it's all very it's very minimal style it's very much my style um, and I absolutely love it but the price is definitely increased a lot but anyway I went in and I saw these pants I'll insert a photo in a second of how I wore these but they're just long pants they've got this beautiful brown pattern they had the same in black and cream um so these little bits were cream um but like i said i've just got so much black and white that i've been trying to go you know at least get some kind of color and i really love brown so i bought these and i have worn them so much already this week they're nice and high-waisted the best part is they're really long if you're i'm 168 centimeters tall if you're someone who's a little bit shorter than that, there's, you would have to get them taken up. But the fabric is really lightweight. I'm sure it's very easy to take up yourself. And these were $120. They're honestly going to be such a versatile piece in my capsule wardrobe. Now, jeans, jeans, and more jeans. Um, I was looking for new denim jeans. I wear my Zara pair all the time. Um, I've mentioned them in pretty much every capsule wardrobe video. I love them, but I wanted a full length pair that sort of dropped to the floor because then I could wear like my New Balance shoes. I thought that would be a really nice look. Um, and I went into surf, dive and ski because jeans I like to try on. I don't want to buy jeans online because they're very hard to get the right fit. And I tried on a pair of Abraham jeans and I loved them. So I bought them in blue and black. So, I've actually got the blue pair on now. I'll show you in a second. But this here is the black pair. Um, they're just high-waisted, kind of tight around the leg up here, and then they kind of just fall straight, and they go all the way to the floor. So, I bought them in black, and then I also bought them in blue, which I'm wearing now. I'll show you. So, this is the blue pair. Um, they're not like a fully light wash blue. They're just kind of an in-the-middle kind of blue but they're like kind of a relaxed sort of vibe yeah I'll insert a photo but that's them on me and yeah I bought them in both blue and in black so they're the jeans that I bought and they were each I think they were like $150 each which I guess I think that's normal for jeans. Okay, so they're all the fashion pieces that I've recently purchased. And then I've got some beauty bits. This I got for free in an Adore Beauty order and I love it. So I love when they send samples because you try things that you never would have bought. So I, I didn't really need a new um, leave-in moisturizer for my hair, but this one came with yeah, as a sample, and it's that this Davro brand, which I've got the Davro heat protectant, and I really like it. It's an Australian brand. Um, anyway, they sent me this, and it smells so amazing. It smells like lollies, and as soon as I smelt it, I was like, oh my gosh. So what I've been doing after I wash my hair is I'll put this in. My hair 
like when I wave it around it smells like lollies and then after this is when I use a little bit of my function of beauty hair oil on the ends but I absolutely love it and I am definitely buying this when it runs out um, I'm wondering if it comes in a bigger one it probably would I can't imagine that that's how big the full version is um, but yeah when I run out of this I'm definitely buying it and if you're someone on the hunt for a bit more hair care try out Davro D-A-V-R-O-E. This is not sponsored in any way. <laughs> I wish. Um, anyway, so I tried that out. Absolutely love it. That is like a genuine review of just something I will buy. And then the next things. So as some of you would know, I've been struggling with my skin ever since going off the pill. Probably almost a year ago now. Um, but every time it's that time of the month, I break out. Something that never happened when I was on the pill. But yeah, I'm just trying to deal with it in the best way possible rather than trying to resort to medication or anything like that. And um, whenever I did a little bit of research into skin, it based, the same things that always popped up was that your, lo your skin loves routine and it loves products that are natural and not a lot of scent. And then a skincare brand called Ivador, their Australian natural vegan skincare brand, reached out to me. I get brands every now and then emailing me, you know, would you like this or would you like activewear brands and stuff. And I haven't done many collaborations in a while because um, I don't want to take on things that I actually wouldn't use because, yeah, it's just... It's just not feasible like I don't want to lie to anyone about what I'm using um, and generally because I don't have a huge following um, even if you get sent something it's not a case of oh if you like it talk about it it's a case of here it is you talk about it um, so it's really hard and I haven't taken on any for a long time. So anyway, Ivador offered to send um, a range of their skincare products and I hadn't heard of the brand before. So I jumped on their website and I had a look and I always go to like the about page and read a little bit about the company because generally with skincare, I don't, I don't buy skincare and stuff that is tested on animals. Whenever I'm buying makeup, I always ask at Mecca or whatever, is, is this brand tested on animals? Um, is it you know, I always try and go the best option possible because there is so much skincare and makeup out there and beauty stuff. Why would you go for the brand that does test on animals and that isn't as natural? Because there's always another brand that is. So I find it's very easy to just go with the one that is offering the best. Anyway, I jumped on their website, had a big read, really loved it. It is a brand I would literally, like going on their website, I could have easily just added a bunch of stuff to my cart cut and paid for it because it was vegan it was all natural it's Australian made everything so I was like I couldn't believe my luck it was a bit of a pinch me moment when they offered to send me a bunch of products anyway it all arrived I should show you the packaging it was so up my alley <laughs> so this is the box it came in look how beautiful the packaging is very Aesop vibes and of I don't have to talk about this brand by the way I don't have to do it they were offered to send it to me try it out and I either let them know my thoughts but I've chosen to talk about them on here today because I want to talk about all the new things I've got and the things that I'm using and this is genuinely stuff that I'm using and that I'm loving so anyway they sent me all these and I just looked at my I sat looked at my cupboard and just put all pushed everything aside in my um, vanity and just had this that way I wasn't tempted to use other stuff and I said to myself use this stuff for one week straight and see how my skin goes and just use these these products and guys my skin has cleared up so much like I think I took a before photo actually I did I'll have to post that when I give them a product review because I'm going to give them a really really good review I wanted to take a photo of my skin before and I had just blemishes everywhere and then I've been using this for a week and my skin just is just fully clearing up there's no new ones and it's really nice and gentle on my skin Anyway, they sent me um, a, it's just like a face moisturizer, they've sent me a, an ageless, ageless serum, and then they've sent me a really gentle exfoliator, and I've been doing it every morning, every night, and guys, my skin is absolutely loving it. I don't know if it's a combination, I don't know if it's the products, or if it's because I'm having a set routine, not sure, but whatever I'm doing, it's working and they smell, they do have a smell to them, but it's like an essential oil smell, which I love. So anyway, absolutely loving the Ivador products. I'll link their website below. So guys, that's everything. That's everything I've picked up recently. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been so nice to just 
be filming and just chatting in a really casual way, I came across Rosie Henshaw. Um, if you're someone who loves home or just like cozy content, like Gemma Louise Miles is, is a great one. But I came across Rosie Henshaw and she really inspired me because she just films off her phone and she's just so engaging and so herself. And it really gave me the um, confidence to just, you know, don't try and think too hard about what, you know, what is it that you guys want to see? Do I need to buy designer stuff to be on trend? It's like... No, I'm just going to film exactly the stuff that I am loving at the moment. And if you guys like it, you like it. And if you don't, well, then you don't. But, you know, I started this whole channel to just, it to be a creative space and do things that I love. And I get motivation to film when I'm enjoying it. And videos like this, I love doing. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day or night, depending on where you are and what time you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Yeah.